Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Prince of Egypt and I'm here again in YouTube and I'm creating a uh, Summoner's War content and this is how I make my uh, tattoo and sat combo work in the Giants B12. So let's begin. So as you can see, I have farmed the uh, Giants B12 and what I get are swift runes fatal runes the sphere runes and also some of the energy runes so these are the runes that you will get on farming the giants b12 but uh for me last year i can't farm this up because i'm messing up my uh, tattoo and sat uh, uh combo the dots team I cannot make them work so uh, what I did is I tried to uh, uh, max out all uh, my uh, towers like the crit damage speed and also the attack uh, uh, tower the ancient sword and I also max the uh, far sanctuary which uh, I uh, uh, sat and also tattoo will benefit because it attack uh, it gives attack power to your uh, tattoo and sat the fire a uh, monster so and also i noticed that uh whenever uh, my tattoo goes on the giant's beat well she dies faster so i make some adjustments so the runes of my tattoo are rage will will for uh the early stages of the uh boss uh, boss fight where the first to third waves uh there are monsters or golems that will uh, stun tattoo so it's advisable for you to use uh, immunity on your tattoo so that it will not get stunned and uh, being cc'd by those golems so rage is for the crit damage i have him 195 crit damage with crit a rate of 59 percent so that is decent with attack percentage of 1000 plus 1427 so that is the uh, uh runes for my tattoo uh, rune selection for her second slot i put it on attack percentage crit uh, damage uh, on its uh, fourth slot and hp percentage for your uh, sixth slot so as you can see her speed is only plus 50 because you need your tattoo to act last uh, because the dryad also sat will gives continuous damage to the monsters in this uh, dungeon and after that tattoo so that is the combo tattoo will use incinerate attack all enemies inflict damage in addition blows up the continuous damage granted on each target to inflict damage that is equivalent to the target's continuous damage so the many or the more continuous damage the monsters have the higher the damage they will receive when it blows up using incinerate so that's uh, how uh, the combo works so you need to at least your dryad have a speed of 100 plus so my dryad has a, a speed of 100 plus and an hp of at least uh, 20k uh, hp with an accuracy of 40 percent and up the higher accuracy you have for your dryad much better because they uh, their only role is to put continuous damage on the boss and also you need them to be tanky since uh, there are some instances when the team are dying and since uh, the dryads are wind element they have an elemental ad advantage over the water uh, golem which is the boss uh, if the, t the team dies and the dryads are still attacking and putting up continuous damage the boss will surely die and it will hit the dryad with a less damage because of the continuous or because of the elemental advantage of the dryads over the boss 
So every attack of the Dryads will inflict continuous damage. As you can see, the Thorn Tree inflicts continuous damage on the target for 2 turns with every attack. So every skill the Dryad makes on the boss, it will give continuous damage. Not also for the boss and also for the mobs on the uh, on the uh, initial stages. While Sat uh, also uh, has the same role, he gives uh, continuous damage, attacks all enemies with a deadly sight and inflicts continuous damage for 2 turns. Always lands a critical hit if the HP is 30% or lower. So that is their role. Uh, the more monsters you have with continuous damage that uh, will benefit Tatu when she uses her third skill. So we are using Lucian here just to clear the waves, the initial waves before uh, getting into the boss. So we need him uh, to, to wipe out all those uh, mobs that can kill Tatu. So we, you need to make sure that Tatu is alive when you reaches the boss stage so additional thing is uh, our leader skill is uh, Lucian which gives our monsters attack power plus 33 percent so that's how uh, we build our team uh, our Lucian is built on rage blade uh, for crit damage and also uh, <clears throat> crit rate for the blade so attack percentage crit damage attack percentage with uh, 73 percent speed a uh, one nine plus one point nine k uh, attack so our sat has 20k at least 20k most mostly 20k uh, hp plus 114 speed and accuracy doesn't matter maybe if you have good runes that gives accuracy much better so 20k uh, hp for the dryads with at least 110 speed with 42 percent to 43 percent accuracy and our tattoo has 195 yeah i i think i already uh, showed it to you and as you can see uh we'll try to show you guys how they uh, how they perform in the uh, dungeon itself so we will try to uh, finish this so the dryads are uh, have a uh, higher speed than add all the monsters here they will attack and land continuous damage and whenever they land I think continuous damage they uh, reduce the attack speed of the uh, monster so as you can see, Tatu is being freezed, but we have invested a lot of continuous damage on the golem. So it uh, naturally or eventually they die because of the continuous damage. So that is one of the clear speed, the uh, third skill of Lucian, which uh, swipes or wipes out all the uh, uh, mobs. So whenever they land continuous damage, it is easier for us to kill the boss as you can see that uh, last only 53 seconds so we are under one minute so that's how good uh, the tattoo and sat combo i think you should invest at least getting the dryads because for me or for the uh, updates i think you can uh, craft the dryad now because they are they are uh, prerequisite on the uh, what you call this the totem is so the dryad you can now craft them so it's not <clears throat> it's not uh, really hard for you to craft or build this team in 2022 because of the totemist fusion uh, for us uh, uh, older players <laughs> We try to, I think uh, uh, my account is old because I started playing this three years ago. And um, uh, during that time, the thought, uh, you need to uh, summon or 
be lucky enough to get the dryads in the mystical scrolls on, or even in any scrolls you get so uh, that is the benefit or the advantage of playing uh, summoners for right now because uh, come to us uh, are uh, giving us a lot of uh, innovations in uh, making the players uh, play the game so as you can see we are dying but we have a lot or, or the boss has a lot of continuous damage but they he cannot kill our dryad because of the elemental disadvantage that is why you need to uh, build your uh, dryad with at least 20k hp and also on violent rune so our uh, dryad is on violent rune that is violent focus focus for the accuracy and also uh, violent for additional attack so speed hp hp same with the uh, other dryad speed hp hp so so guys i think i'd show you a consistent uh, tattoo sat combo and uh, this can be uh, uh, created or fusion <clears throat> your sat and also your tattoo is easy to get right now and they can be second awakened easily and for me you need to also invest on your lucian because lucian is always or will will be the best clip monsters in any of the game in any areas of the game like the rta for the clip team and also you need to at least have lucian in your uh early uh, beginners account so that's it guys i hope i have explained myself why didn't i uh, created this because i'm really frustrated during that time i uh, i given up on them i made a trika route just to have a lot of violent runes and it works and just trust the process create a trika route create a dots team also the dots team are working on your uh, steel fortress so you need to at least have a, a dots team that is a good investment for you so again thank you guys if you like this video and if you like uh, other contents you just uh, message me on uh, youtube on the comments below maybe i can help those uh, early to mid game players uh, because i yeah i always play summoners war and uh, i have a lot of experience here also i'm playing rta if you see my streams i uh, do streams so yeah that's it thank you guys see you in the next video peace